it's a setup, it's a setup, it's a setup. There's an O on it, it's a setup, it's a setup. So they couldn't be from here. We have our validated customers, and every place yesterday was a different place. But local store owners believe people from out of town are responsible for the recent heightened violence and looting. Uh, CNN's Don Lemon is joining us now live from Ferguson. What's the mood like there, Don? Okay. Uh, I think we're about to be arrested because we're standing on the sidewalk and you said you want to... Move out of the way, sir! Move out of the way, sir! Move! But this here is the foundation for this. You can't separate them. I, I don't know what them black robe perverts don't understand down there. Contractors are going to come in. They be me. People like me, but on the other side, they're going to kill you. You're going to start seeing people, that person sitting next to you, a few years from now will not be sitting there because they're going to be gone. Because somebody like me is going to come in and kill you. For all you wannabes out here who think you're the baddest thing in the world, I got news for you. You're going to meet bad. Not that bad can't be killed. But when you're talking with somebody who does this 24-7 every day of their life, they get pretty good at it. Right. Not somebody who just does it every now and then. We've been standing here all day. So. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay, so that's what's happening here. So people are here and they're standing on the street. You can see what's happening. Um, we've been standing here all day. They told us to come here. I can't move. I'm, a, I'm not going to resist the police officer. So I'm being pushed back by the police officer. So you can see this is exactly what the citizens have been dealing with. So we're going to anyway. Now you see why people are so upset here. I've done my first year of killing. I'm tired of it. And you're either going to go to the ballot box or you're going to go to the bullet box in the next 18 months. If you got that time. The new constitution is all ready to go. They only need the right incident to bring it down. And they're working on that right now. We're not very far away from an event that's going to bring what you call martial law. That, that term will never be used, by the way. Yep. Emergency police powers will be. I know there's a big target on my back. I know that. I still carry a secret clearance. I just left, I just left Fort Littlewood and I am totally done. I'd like to show you some more, but I'm out of time. I went down there three days ago because I get briefed every six months. I still do. You're going to start to see more. The news media is going to start banging on something. Could be Ukraine, could be, we don't know. That's how psychological warfare works. They talk about this, and this is happening over here. It's called a distraction. So number one is there, 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 there's, going to be, there's going to be an emphasis up on international events. The news media is going to pound it, pound it, pound it. The second thing is you're going to start to see a group or a person guilty of racism or something along those lines. They're going to start pounding on that. They want your attention over here. The third thing you're going to start to see is people being arrested for, for domestic terrorism. The fourth thing you're going to see, and this is what this is what I got to talk to the ladies about, it's what I call ancient hates, ancient madness, ancient revenge. When these things start to happen, people are going to start rioting. The EBT cards are going to shut down. Can you imagine what's going to happen in North St. Louis and St. Louis County what's when the EBT cards go down, when the ATM machines don't work? Walmart's in Illinois already, and other places had some problems with that already. Think about that, what's going to happen. When, when, those, when the inner cities start to ignite, people are going to start killing people they don't like. There's this one officer that you saw with me who is physically 
pushing people. The one here to the left with the gray hair, this officer right here, physically pushing people out of the way, one of the older officers. Right now in the United States, most chiefs of police and sheriffs and lieutenants and above will go to the FBI Academy. When they go to the I when they go to the FBI Academy, they come back brainwashed for some reason. Now I know the St. Louis County Police has that policy. I do not know about the rest of them, but I know just about every sheriff will go to the FBI Academy. Do you know how the Muslims take care of you? They cut your head off. Obama is allowing hundreds of thousands of them to come in every week. Yep. The only passive Muslim is a Sufi. Sufi only. They are passive until they get around a more dominant Muslim. Then they will kill you. Muslims are passive until they gain parity with you or they exceed you in numbers. And they will kill you. Yep. I told my commander I'm not going to obey an undocumented president. Right. And I left. I took two years early retirement because so I won't do it. Incidentally, there's a, there's a movie out with Mr. Stallone and somebody. I forgot who the other guy is. Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's called Escape. You must have, you're reading my thoughts. Yes. It's called Escape. That boat exists. It's real. Ooh. That boat does exist. I'm telling you for I a really fact. Died. I know it did. I'm just telling you, I know it for a fact. It exists. It's real. I think we're about to be arrested because we're standing on the sidewalk and you said you want to. Move out of the way, sir. Move. We've been standing here all day, sir. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay, so that's what's happening here. Because I have to get permission from the Army to do this. I'm theirs. They own me. There's this one officer that you saw with me who is physically pushing people. The one here to the left with the gray hair, this officer right here, physically pushing people out of the way. One of the older officers. Shame, shame.